Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's a Belgian triple with a twist. Belgian Twist is a 10% Belgian triple from Founders Brewing Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Belgian Twist marks the return of the confusingly named series of beer from founders known as the Bottle Shop series. Now, this is the third entry in the series. The first one was Nemesis, which was a barley wine. Then we had Highball Drifter, which was a barrel-aged cocktail-inspired beer. And as you could probably tell from my intro, this is going to be a Belgian triple ale with a twist. And that twist, of course, is the addition of Blue Agave Nectar, which founders said should heighten and highlight the existing fruity notes of the original Belgian base. You may also know this beer by another name, that's Cactus Waffle, which it was named in the tap room. that's what it would have been known by. So let's get a look at the label, we'll get into a glass, but first I'd like to thank my executive producers Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, Vinny Cat, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just throw me a couple bucks to buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com, where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks that are available only to patrons. If you can't monetarily help me, share this video. I appreciate it. Gets the, widens the audience, widens the net, right? So let's take a look at the label. This has the typical Bottle Shop series labels on it. We start at the top. It has the black founder's cap. It has the founder's brewing company label across the neck. Underneath that, it says Founders Bottle Shop Series Belgian Twist. Let's you know this is release 03. It has some agave little flowers or whatnot on here. Uh, it has some, some wheat also kind of mixed in with that, or I guess leaves, agave leaves, not flowers. All these labels for the Bottle Shop Series have been very similar, just the kind of the coloring's a little bit different. And on the side here, it says Belgian style triple ale brewed with agave nectar. On the other side, it lets you know this is a product of the USA, Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49503. If we turn it around to the back, it tells you this is 10% alcohol by volume, 25 IBU. Again, we have the Founders Bottle Shop Series logo, and underneath that, it says, a Belgian triple with a twist. This beautiful beverage is brewed with a substantial amount of blue agave nectar, highlighting and heightening the existing fruity notes and rounding out the sweet body of this golden straw-colored triple. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? This was bottled on February 10th of this year, 2022. It has the government warning, all that good stuff. So this is, was bottled about a month ago. Actually, it's early, early April now. I was going to say late March, but it's early April now. So this has been bottled a, a little while. This just hit shelves. I don't know. I don't know with the Bottle Shop series if it makes it outside of Michigan. If it doesn't, how long it takes after they bottle it. The Bottle Shop series to me is very confusing. I get it really confused with the Mothership series, which is a different thing. That's taproom only releases. Regardless, we're gonna crack this and put a nose on it. So pop that. Whoa! Look at that. We're gonna just go ahead and pour it because this is, I don't know what's going on there, but it was starting to rise. And I'm just gonna be really kind of delicate with this. I don't want it to overflow. Whoa, I just poured <laughs> I'm gonna smell it out of the bottle here though. Has a very Belgian triple-esque aroma to it. It has a, yeah, it just has a nice sweet aroma to it. You smell that banana, you smell that, that clove. Uh, if we look at it, I'm getting about two fingers ahead here. Very, it's actually a little bit off-white, but the, the head is very, um, very condensed, very packed together. It is kind of fading relatively quickly. It's popping up a lot, but, you know, just an effort not to spill this all over the place. I don't know if when I put it back on the table, if that's what made it overflow. I don't know what's going on there, but regardless, it has a pretty, you know, pretty uh, lush looking head. It has kind of depleted a little bit. It's at about two and a half fingers now. It was at two fingers. We're gonna go ahead and hold that up to the light. It is fairly clear. It does have a really golden straw kind of color to it. There is some particulate kind of floating in suspension there. As you can, you can see through that. You can see me through that. I can see you through there again. Put your pants on, okay? Uh, and anyways, this is really just pretty golden, pretty see-through, just a little bit of haze and suspension, maybe, you know, particles and suspension. Let's put a better nose on the glass here. Yeah, it's still very, very much coming through as a sweet banana aroma, maybe a little bit of clove. 
I feel like there's an extra layer of sweetness on there, almost like this tequila kind of aroma to it, kind of dry, you know, aroma to it. And I'm going to guess that's the, the agave, but let's try it out. Cheers. We always talk about the mouthfeel. First off, always mouthfeel. Pretty crisp, actually. Not quite as heavy as I was expecting. I was expecting this with the addition of the agave. Why don't we just go ahead and pour the rest in? With the addition of the agave, I thought it might thicken it up a little bit. It's actually pretty light. It does have a nice kind of crispness to it. Uh, it is, it goes down really smooth. It's a really smooth mouthfeel. It almost has a bit of a creaminess to it. Yeah, it's just really kind of a pl pleasant mouthfeel. Let's talk about the flavor. I'm going to take another big drink because I've been kind of thinking about the mouthfeel. I'm still thinking about the thing almost popping off when I opened it, but let's talk about the flavor here. It's a very mild, kind of subdued flavor. Like at the beginning, it comes through very much like that Belgian style, right? It has those kind of banana flavors to it. It has that little bit of a that little bit of a spicy, clovey kind of flavor comes through on the finish, and there's also this kind of other sweetness, but it's really like, at first, there's not a whole lot of flavor. It kind of comes through, you, you kind of, you know, it, it, as I swallow it, as I take the drink, at first there's not really a whole lot of flavor, and on the swallow, that's when you, it starts to kind of roll over your tongue. That's when you start to pick up maybe a little bit more of those Belgian flavors, again, like that banana, like that bit of a kind of a cloviness to it, and then it has like a, it, it finishes really dry. It does have those kind of sweet notes to it. The banana, the sweetness kind of meld together. It is a little bit like floral almost, maybe a little bit of a, a really kind of subdued fruity. You get that clove, you get that little bit of spiciness on the finish, on the swallow. But like I said, the finish also really dries out pretty quick. That remind that makes me think more that the agave is kind of influencing that, that you know, that whole kind of flavor profile. It's a really interesting beer. It does the dryness, the way it dries out, almost gives it, gives me more of an impression of the high ABV of the 10%. This is 10%. I wouldn't probably take a drink of this and think that it was anything under 8%. It tastes very, it has really like that big kind of alcohol kind of characteristic to it without being very boozy. There's no burn to it. There's no kind of like feeling in my throat that it's like overly boozy, but the taste is what really sets it off. And that dryness is, the dryness on the finish is what really kind of clues me into thinking that it's high ABV. With all that being said, I really don't pick up on anything. It just tastes like a straight up Belgian triple to me and, and kind of like a subdued Belgian triple at that. Like I'm not a huge Belgian guy. I don't drink a lot of Belgian beers. I don't drink a lot of Belgian triples. I have had a few in my day, and they generally seem like they have a little bit more flavor than this. I don't really feel, other than that kind of, that dryness that it has on the finish, I don't really think that the agave is really lending much to this. Um, just kind of a statement in general about the whole Bottle Shop series. I thought that Highball Drifter was somewhat, um, I, 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 thought, I, I thought that was kind of impressive. It reminded me very much of Bell's Old Fashioned. It reminds me very much of the Old Fashioned style cocktail beer that seems like it's become very popular these days. Nemesis was kind of like, this doesn't really taste like a barley wine to me. And this one doesn't really do much. Like it just kind of tastes like a Belgian triple. And I feel like there are enough of those style beers out there, either like imported or generally like American craft Belgian style ales, that this doesn't really do anything that sets it apart from those. It doesn't fill any kind of need that was there that, you know, oh, hey, Founders doesn't do a Belgian. We really need one done. I can understand that they, they brew this because, you know, they want to experiment. They want to try new things. They want to do this bottle shop series. It's small batches. Supposedly, it seems like it sits on shelves forever, but they want to do these small batch things. It just doesn't seem like it fills any kind of need. And I don't see why this would really leave the tap room. Like they, Like I said, they called it cactus waffle or whatever like why not just leave it in the tap room i just don't understand the impetus behind making this a a release in general this is one unless you're like a completionist for belgians and you need to try every belgian style ale that's out there i would probably pass on this i picked up two and i'm happy that i just picked up two and didn't get kind of 
for lack of a better term, stuck with a four pack of this. All right, friends, that's been Belgian Twist from Founders. Have you had this beer before? Are there any beers like this that you've had that are similar? And what do you think of this whole bottle shop series? Where do you think they should go next? What have you liked any of them so far? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking to you about beer twice a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. If you want to help out the channel other than Patreon, please consider subscribing and sharing this out to maybe some other friends that are into beer so we can kind of, again, widen that net. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Cheers.